Picture this, a bustling office humming with the rhythm of clicking keyboards, ringing phones and hushed conversations. The air is thick with ambition, the walls echoing stories of triumphs and failures alike. In this hive of productivity, two bees buzz a little louder than the rest. Our protagonist, a beacon of hard work and integrity, and their co-worker, a master of manipulation and deceit. At the heart of our tale is the protagonist, a paragon of diligence and dedication. Day in, day out, they pour their heart and soul into their work, their fingers dancing on the keyboard like a pianist in full swing. They arrive early, leave late and in between, they churn out quality work like a well-oiled machine. Their co-workers respect them, their clients love them and their boss, well, their boss simply cannot do without them. Yet, in the shadows lurks the cunning co-worker, a chameleon who changes colors to suit their needs. Beneath their charming facade, they harbor a talent for pulling strings and twisting truths. They know just what to say, to whom and when. Their specialty isn't producing results but producing illusions, painting a picture of competence where there is only cunning. The stage was set for a promotion, the golden opportunity both had been waiting for. The protagonist, with their consistent performance and unwavering commitment, seemed the obvious choice. But when the decision was announced, it was the manipulative co-worker who emerged victorious, their web of deceit ensnaring the very top. The protagonist, once a beacon of enthusiasm, dimmed. Their spirit, once unbreakable, cracked. The injustice hung over them like a dark cloud, tainting their love for their work, their loyalty to their company. They were disgruntled and rightly so. But as the dust settled, the protagonist realized something crucial. They had not lost to their co-worker. They had lost to a system that rewarded manipulation over merit, deceit over dedication. Their integrity was intact, their work ethic unblemished. They had remained true to themselves, even in the face of injustice. And therein lies the moral of our tale. It isn't about the promotion missed or the co-workers cunning. It's about the protagonists unwavering integrity, their refusal to stoop low, their commitment to their principles. It's about the realization that success isn't just about climbing the corporate ladder, but about doing so with honesty and dignity. So as our protagonist stares out of the office window, they know they have not lost. They have learned a valuable lesson, a lesson about the kind of person they are and more importantly, the kind of person they choose to be. And that, dear listeners, is a victory in its own right.